or contravention of the law. The governor's allegation are an allegation of abuse of the constitution. The governor's allegation against her are based on law. Do we ourselves close our ears from following the law? And we say we must defend the law against the governor. But the law cannot be uh, enforced against us. Members of the county assembly, that is the question before the, the, uh, before the speaker and before you. Number, number D. Appellate proceedings, like the one we are today, whether criminal or civil, shall be deemed to be active from the time when they are commenced by an application for leave to appeal or by notice of appeal until the proceedings are ended by judgment or discontinued. The law, as you passed it, says an appellate appeal either from a magistrate's court or from a high court to the court of appeal or from a court of appeal to the Supreme Court binds this assembly. Now the burden on the governor is on number four. That whoever alleges, a member alleging that a matter is subjudice, shall provide evidence to show that paragraph two and three are applicable. We shall table all the cases that are alive in court and those cases are touching all the seven counts that the governor is facing. That in itself in the question of law is a preliminary objection on the question of law. Once that question is determined I'll pack to leave to Nyamira or I'll continue with this submission because if a question of law has been raised a preliminary objection of law that this send these proceedings there is no jurisdiction to entertain this matter because the matters are active in a court of law do we reconstitute ourselves and close our ears and close our eyes and see a good case you have a good case you have against the governor being thrown out at technicalities reconsider and let the matters be determined that those matters that are in the high court let those matters in the magistrate's courts be determined. Let those matters in the court of appeal be determined. Bring a proper motion. Remove your governor because that is your right. It cannot be taken away by anybody. It is protected by 55 million Kenyans who passed the constitution on the 27th of August 2010. It goes further and says in paragraph 5 notwithstanding the standing order the speaker may allow reference to a matter before the house or a committee. The speaker can only have a reference or a citation. So the question I'm pushing ahead and my colleagues are pushing is how did this motion of impeachment pass the threshold for it to be in the order paper as a subject of discussion it was an, an error 
and we simply agree that that error is not fatal. We would stop this matter until when the law allows 